A mysterious illness stole much of her glory days as a young artist. And it's only now, 19 years later, that she returns to the Jamaican stage. Thank you, Jesus. She comes to our stage first with her big story of survival. I'd never walk again, never sing again. Inspiration and performance. He was still in search of the big breakout song when we premiered his video we rise to the top on our stage earlier this year, but little did we know unchangeable. that the song would not only deliver the big breakout, it's already been branded a classic. He will be here to perform the song for us live. The coolest of all the ravers brings his story of inspiration cool and success. Entertainers and other Jamaican celebrities react to the passing of journalist TV host Ian Boyne, as well as Ninja Man's life in prison conviction. All coming up right here on our stage, plus this week's E! News reviews and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Beloved journalist Ian Bowen's passing has generated severe sorrows for Jamaicans everywhere. Mr. Bowen, who has an illustrious career in media spanning over 40 years, passed last Monday after a short illness. Here are some of the reactions we received from entertainers and other well-known Jamaican personalities. He wasn't an ordinary journalist, he was a giant in our industry because his work was based on solid research, well thought out, substantiated argumentation. Whether you agreed with him or not. Everybody on Mr. Man, you don't know if you say it. Ian Boyne, we miss you. My Sundays will not be the same because I always watch profile. I'm really saddened by, by, by his death and it's, it seemed untimely. In any nation for you too. To get true progress, you have to have balance on the media landscape. And Ian was, you know, the hallmark and the sort of the, the legacy of just that in our in our country. So it is so sad. My, my condolences go out to his family, and um, I just you know hope he rests in peace. He was a beautiful man. I hope that what he have done for all these years, that we as a country can. Um, make babies of it and, and use it to help our younger people so that we can have some more Ian Boyens on TV. It hurts so much. Somebody I genuinely loved and cared about. And someone who really cared about people. You know? Jamaica is going to miss Ian Boyens. One of the hardest things to accept, even though you know so it's realistic. You understand? So, Mr. Condolences. More time I have to make a stop and check if me a dream. Say my bridging just drop out so I nothing never do him. Just know for you, my heart hurts. I'll know me no ball, have him number and I'm a phone, me still a wait for him for call. No matter how you big and rich, life still short. When enough people are got you, you don't know the half. So live your life passionate, cause I no play ground. No man pan hurt, don't know when him day I come. Me no man with doctor tell him only have nine months. Nine years past him, still I live with just one lung. But I know everyone's so fat in it, cause nothing gone soon. No man has to on earth and live forever like a cartoon. That's why I cherish every moment, Jaja, give me condolences. Mr. Ian Boy. God no, still feel so you never your time. Tears full up my eyes, you gone too soon. And our condolences go out to Ian's family and friends. Meanwhile, Ninja Man's long-standing runnings with law enforcement have culminated with a conviction for life in prison. It is very unfortunate that um, someone like Ninja Man, who is very smart and has, very, and has contributed a whole lot um, to music, um, end up like that. 
it's, it's really unfortunate, but then what can we learn from, from it? We have to make sure that we learn as much as we can from all events that take place. Guess what? That's a feeling for dance hall because we just have one more real icon for Ghana prison again for us in a time when we have crime out of control and the music we are trying to use to help and you know. So that's a day but as I said before again, if you do the crime then you will have to play, plan to take the time too. All I can say is at the end of the day we are human beings as artists and we must be responsible. I cannot stand here and say why them wicked to ninja man because there's a case and it was presented and there are things there to show that he was involved in some ways. We can't say otherwise. You understand what I say? But at the end of the day, all we can say to Ninja Man is you were baptized once before, now would be a good time to give your life to God again. And if you get the opportunity to record from behind bars, please contribute to the positivities of Jamaica and to the upliftment of our country. Long time me bust, but man on a bum, me rooted like a tree stone. Although he has been convicted, and sentence, it will not change my opinion about Ninja Man as a creative individual who has contributed tremendously to entertainment and the development of Jamaican music. I, I, I'm, I'm hurt by it because Ninja Man is a friend of mine, but I'm also concerned that because of the level of crime in this society, he might be being used as an example. And so therefore the level of, 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 of time that he got might be saying, okay, he's known, he's popular, used as an example to the others. And it's not just as if it is an example, it's just as if you are being punished for the activity that you have done. When we go and to come January 2018, the expected thousands will flock Plantation Cove in St. Anne. <laughs> to celebrate the milestone 25th anniversary of Rebel Salute. It's a rebel of the armor. And in the spirit of the preservation of reggae, Rebel Salute! Names like Capleton, Luciano, Agent Sasco, Barrington Levy, O'Neill Bryan, aka Elephant Man, Ding Dong, the return of Glacier Robinson, and a host of others were announced at a launch on Monday at Pegasus Hotel. All are expected to ignite the stage come January 12 and 13. <laughs> Stay tuned to On Stage for more on Rebel Salute in the weeks to come. Meanwhile, it's more than finger licking good meals from KFC Jamaica this Christmas. The fast food giant brings musical chairs to the season with an album of some of the biggest Christmas songs of all time, featuring beloved Jamaican singers Christopher Martin, Wayne Wanda, Tosh Alexander, Romain Virgo, and this. Tall gentleman right here, <laughs> and he's really tall. When you see a man towering over me, he's really t tall. And we're talking about D Major on That's our right. stage right now to tell us more about this album. Greetings, brother. Well, go on, Beth. Greetings, General. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Okay, so you are a yeah. participant in this tremendous album. Yeah. This gift from KFC this, Definitely. this year. Um, Definitely. How did it come about? I mean, it's an honor, you know, first and foremost, I'm a big up KFC. I don't know a household. You know, um, name in Jamaica. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's their brainchild, of course. KFC, okay. you know, it's produced by King Yard Music. You know, a really, really, really nice album. A really nice gift, you know what I'm saying? So we have a big up KFC for this one. And you all wanted to give, right? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Because you're close to all of these artists. Yeah, man. I mean, Chris, of course, from the same campus. Yeah, Chris, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. King, eh, the producer. Yes, management, that. <laughs> the you know management. What I'm yeah. So it was, it was a no brainer. It was easy. No, it, 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 it was easy. And as I said, Winford, it's, it's all about giving, you know, this season. And, and, and it's only right, you know, whichever way, you know, the image can give back. You know what I'm saying? And as we said, we need the love. We need the love. So this is why I chose that song to give love on Christmas Day and even beyond. Okay. Yeah. And it's a pity we can't have you perform the song yeah. for us right here on stage. True, but true. Of course, it's at kfcjamaica.com slash. Xmas album. Mm -hmm. All this, all five songs. All five songs. Free of yeah, cost. Free Download of cost. them, play them. Jamaica, enjoy I'm going to say that again. Free of cost. You yeah. know, it's Christmas and, 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 and as we say, it's free of cost. So 
But download the album and enjoy it with your family and your friends this Christmas, you know what I'm saying? So, and quickly before you, your own mm -hmm. career, a big summer of that, what's oh going on? Oh my God, it, it was a great year, Winford, you know, we, we, we planted some, some, some things that we, we, we see are already going to, you know, um, blossom in 2018 and I'm very excited right now. Song out right now called Vibes, you know, picking up steam. Big up to all of the radio, this jacket them we are playing, you know what I'm saying? Big up to Chimney Records, the producers, Vibes. We have up the vibes and thing, eh? You know what I'm saying? So I just hold it for things to 2018. And we're going to be back January with a video for the vibes. Okay. Trust right. me, trust me, trust Bring me. Bring it on. Yes, sir. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. And again, it is KFC Jamaica slash Xmas album. In the meantime, these are the events endorsed by On Stage. Please go out and enjoy all of them. On Christmas night at Luana Sports Complex in St. Elizabeth, GT Taylor will bring the extravaganza with names like Bean Man, Sanchez, Sizzler, Tommy Lee, Shansia, and a whole lot more. While on Boxing Night, December 26th, it's all about the impressions that will be made at Jewels Resort, Port Moore. Crazy Chris, the Captain Colin Hines, Mixmaster Marvin, and Rohan Brown will make impressions on their turntables, you will make impressions on the dance floor. And come Friday, December 29th, the sunny city Portmore will get to the second annual Portmore Music Fest. This year, the likes of Bounty Killer, I Octane, Tommy Lee, Cockatee, Queen Ifrika, and many more will be gracing the stage at the UDC car park in the city. Not to be outdone is House of Dance Hall, which will feature a weekend of activities starting December 29 under the name Winter Splash. Nightly events including a New Year's Eve party with Raga Shanti and a New Year's Day event featuring Sizzla Kalunji. So, lots to do this holiday season. Have fun responsibly. And there's still to come right here on stage. A mysterious illness stole much of her glory days as a young artist. And it's only now, 19 years later, that she returns to the Jamaican stage. He was still in search of the big breakout song when we premiered his video. We rise to the top on our stage earlier this year, but little did we know unchangeable that the song would not only deliver the big breakout, it's already been branded a classic. The coolest of all the ravers brings his story of inspiration cool and success. All coming up. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. This one is a story of raw talent, hard work, and the inevitable success that brings. For our guest in this segment is much more than just a dancer. Under the stewardship of Ding Dong, he is a dance maker. Me a controller, young soldier, once over. Positing moves in the dance hall space for the past couple of years, where the fling being his biggest work to date. He's a 2017 recipient of the Prime Minister's Youth Award in the category of Arts and Culture. His parents named him Shavoy Grant. But you know him as Cool Ravers. Right now, right here on our stage. Cool Ravers, sir. A pleasure to be here, man. And you pleasure. pluralize the ravers, right? You all use... Ravers. Ravers. Yes. So uh, the word is always ravers, the yes. last name. Ravers. So whatever man. your first name, ravers comes at the end. Yes. And so I am Winford Ravers. Right. No, <laughs> yes. Bless up. So congratulations, I won't leave, sir. Respect for that, man. Yeah, you know I mean, what does it mean for you, though, this big award from the Prime Minister? Well, to be honest, it, it, for me, it just show that God is just paying me according to the work that I'm putting in. So I never expect it. Really and truly, you know, I pray to create a big dance, you know, but I never pray to collect an award, you know, I just pray to create a dance that is going to put back some positivity in the country. Mm -hmm. So I never have any claims for myself. I just want to create it so it can actually bring back that love and that joy that I grew up come see. I know I can't see it again, so I just wanted to see how I can get dancing to actually find back itself on that part. Yeah, because people may not, some people may not understand that dancing 
Yeah. When you have young people dancing, yeah. poor, hungry, angry, young people. Depressed. You know, dancing, it brings relief. It brings, yes, a brings positive healing, vibe, energy. man. Yes, this dance, you know, this dance, like any time you're going to do this dance, you know, is, it's coming from some positivity, you know, because if you're going to do this dance, it's either from you celebrating success, are you enjoying yourself? You can't in a sad place. I never, I never see a case where somebody is sad and actually do this dance. Like every time somebody try to reach out to me, it's always, when I see the story, it's always coming from some success. Yes. So I know that people use this dance now to say, yes, I've done it. I don't even want this interview to be about me. I just want to promote the love. The love, the love, the love, because it's because me loving dancing actually make a reach where I'm at this, to this day, you know? So this show that when you put in love, you will reward with love. So people see the dance and they love it. And I'm telling you, like, the last dance because this to me was back in the days when Bogle was alive, you know? And everybody could be like, all right, this is a Bogle move. And Bogle does give you a vibe. So to see, to see you now that I come up on this platform and people in my generation, the younger kids, as they wake up, you see everybody does flinging the shoulder the old lady, flinging the shoulder the prime minister, flinging his shoulder. So I see that, all right then, this is really a positive movement. Yes. And then I have the support of my crew because with every success, you know, you have to have support, you know. You don't just get up and just be successful. You have to have somebody around you, you know, actually telling you that you need to do this, you need to stay on this platform. Don't stray because up to this day, the crime and the violence, the depression, it have a pull. And you have seen a lot of this, don't you? Yes, I've right. seen a Your lot of it, man. Background. Talk about that for us. Well, to be honest, now I have to commend my community, you know, mm -hmm. like I have to congratulate them because for the past few years it's just peace. Everybody just trying to see how we can look at the bigger picture. We're talking about Nannyville. Nannyville Garden, yes. man. Nannyville Garden, and, and I'm telling you, every citizen in Nannyville can fling them shoulder. Like this is a community of dance, dancers, mm -hmm. a community of artists. Like I think my community is a very blessed community. It's, it's a school itself because every youth in my community, even if they are not successful getting like a, a certain high level of education, just growing up in the community and you know, all right then, a Nannyville man is always a man like Ding, a man like Over Mars, a man like Walter Boy. So we always say, all right then, we're going to try to see how we, as the younger generation, can actually fulfill our purpose and as in live up to our name and try to see how we can represent for our community. So let's talk a little bit about your travels and your work in dance. Are you able to earn a living from it? All right, since lately it's been better, you know. I've been on two Europe tours. I've been to Canada and I've been to Trinidad and Tobago. As 2018 come, mm -hmm. like I have much more work. I, I see where I'm going to South America. I still have a Europe tour coming up again. Now I have a Russia tour. Still waiting to see when I'm going to visit the US. The Europe, the people like they appreciate dancehall so much. Like I, I can tell you, I've been in some big places and people flying from all over the world just to represent and just to compete or just to be on the same platform as we dance, as you know, doing our culture. So I just want to take this time out that I'm here now yes. to just tell the Jamaican citizens that, listen, we need back the peace, we need back the love. Evil is actually on the front now of Jamaica, and I try to see how it can actually destroy Jamaica, and everybody forgetting God. You have all of the, the, the artists them now who think that it's all about crime and violence, and gun this and gun that, and then you have the younger artists them coming up thinking that the only way that we're going to make or we're going to get a bus is to go on this same path. But when you look into it and you see the youths them suffering from depression, suffering from grief, suffering from being a victim themselves, you know, I don't think that these music are the music that they should be listening for to find a, a more happier place, you know. So we need back more love we need the artists them to start put back a lot of love in the music because trust me that's what we need 
And I think that's the only thing can work, you know? Cool River, sir. Well yeah. said. I mean, what else is there to say? I mean, this is coming from an inner city youth. True, true. This is coming from an inner city youth. That's all I will say to you, and you can check it out. Nannyville. Yeah. Nannyville is where he's from, and he's talking like this. So if a youth like him cannot talk about so much love, what about the rest of you? Are you, are you all looking into yourselves and seeing how you're, how you're living and what you're thinking and what you're supporting? So, we're going to leave the stage for you to dance for us. Cool. Yeah, so just so I can get it. Just All right, start and, and so he's going to dance us to the break. And remember, coming up, coming up, you don't want to miss this, some big, yeah. big performances. If you fight that, me picking out the feather. Don't bad mind my brother when him a go up the ladder. Only man a go get the cheddar. If you not like that, hold them there, hold them there, hold them there, hold them there, fully back to hold them there, 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 hold them there. Man a show the fear, fear. Tell a show the fear, fear. Watch a world to a see, can I talk with your bad mouth? Man show the fear, fear. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. 1998, she posited one of the most uh, timeless gems in Jamaican gospel music. Hold my hand today. But soon lost much of the glory generated by the song a mysterious illness and it's only now 19 years later that she returns to the Jamaican stage and is our very special guest right now right here on stage we're talking about Glacia Robinson Glacia so good to have you such it's such a pleasure to be here welcome welcome should i also be welcome you welcoming you home yes Jamaica? yes it's been 19 years as you just said yes yes and it's such a joy my heart is just saturated with gratitude just to be on the shores of my country again mm -hmm. it's just it's, so you didn't visit during this 19 no i didn't years. i didn't visit so what what kept you away why well, based on the illness I had, mm -hmm. it took me a long time because you said I, I was sick. As you said, I was sick for five and a half years. Mm -hmm. My body was really depleted. So it took a while for me to regain my independence. Yes. And after that, you know, I started serving where I was. But my body was so far gone. It, it took a long time. The recovery took a very long time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So uh, all this time yes. you, you wanted to come home? But, of course. But couldn't? Yes, I wasn't able to. I was not able to. And to this day, nobody knows what caused No, it was a mysterious illness. illness. It was a curse of death, Winf Winford. Because of the success, people are jealous of the success. And, you know, our dreams have to be tested. And I'm not saying that it is God's will for any of us to be sick. But the Lord allowed it to happen. And I went from one hospital to the next. And all the results were negative. I did countless tests. I left Jamaica in a wheelchair. Yes. And when I went to the States, I basically lived in the IC units. It got to the point where the doctors told me my organs were functioning at the rate of a seven-year-old child. Could no longer digest water. Mm. My body weight plummeted to less than 90 pounds. I was skin and bones. All my veins collapsed. My hair fell out. My skin broke out in hives. Terrible seizures, internal bleeding, hemorrhaging. You name it, it was happening to me. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. Wow. Yeah. It was dark. So... It, is, is it a suspicion that this is, you were possessed by the devil somewhat? Or? I was attacked by the devil. It was a curse of death. Somebody went to the Obia man and placed a curse on me. They wanted to stop me from meeting you or being able to fulfill God's purpose for my life. And these things are prevalent here. So, yes. it, you know, the Lord allowed it, though, to happen. And it took 
five years for you? Five to- and a half years. I was sick for five and a half years, and it took a few more years to recover. I had to learn to walk again, talk, construct straight sentences, count. Started um, juicing baby, um, eating Gerba baby food, juicing from there. You know, step by step, because I was, I was helpless. So what's the medical explanation? What do they say about your your recovery? Oh, they're they're totally amazed. They know that this is God's doing because the, the do- it got to the point where the doctors told me and my mother to go home, say your goodbyes. There's nothing more we can do for you. And they, and I said, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. So even when my body wouldn't cooperate, I continued to hold on to the promises of God for my life. And I said, I know that it's not over until God says so. Mm -hmm. So even though they gave up on me, I held on to God's promises and I kept fighting and declaring the word of God. And, you know, it was a long process though. But, and so shortly after that, after you recovered, you you recovered, you started ministering in the US? Yes, in in the the US US and and other parts of the world. Okay. But I just didn't get the release. I've been praying and I've been asking the Lord to say, Lord, send me. I want to go back. But I didn't get the release in my spirit. And just this year, the Lord answered that prayer. He said, okay, it's time. It's and time to go back home to time. Jamaica. Yes, yes. Wow. And I'm glad I obeyed because it's just such a blessing to be here already. I see the hand of God moving, you know. So where are some of the places you've been in your ministry overseas? I've been to Sweden. Which, um, a few months ago, we were ministering in Sweden, in Israel. Um, the BVI, different parts of the Caribbean, in Canada, lots of countries. We've been traveling extensively, and 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 the and the message is the same, just God's love. But but I, these testimonies that I get when people listen to the music, people who are about to commit suicide, people who are on drugs, even gunmen, some of them reached out to me. They said, "Your music has transformed my life," mm-hmm. and it's so humbling, Winford, because you know I'm just a vessel, you know. How? What went through your mind when you, your dream became reality Yes. and then it, you saw it slipping away from you? Oh my God, it wasn't easy. There are days when I, I remember laying in the hospital and I would listen to myself singing and it sounded like a stranger singing because my tongue dripped from my head. I couldn't speak. I couldn't. And I'm like, that's a different glacier. But I kept the hope alive inside of my heart. You've got to be determined. You have to be determined mm-hmm. to fight. And it, when I saw my life just slip, like my life just, just waste before my eyes. And people actually said that this is it for you. You're not going to make it. But I, I kept my hope alive. Mm-hmm. And, and whenever I felt discouraged, because there are days when it was easier to pull the covers over my head and just breathe my last breath. But the Lord would always send somebody to encourage me or give me a song or remind me of a promise. You know, so I kept believing. I said, I know that my assignment is not yet complete. Yes. So how long were you looking for that moment in music, for that place in music before you got that big song in 98? Well, honestly, I wasn't even looking for that place, so to speak, because I, yes. I've been singing since four years old, but my passion is missions. So even before okay. I was like known in Jamaica, I used to travel the world as a missionary, mm-hmm. smuggling Bibles and going to the streets and the prisons. And that's my passion. I love mm-hmm. to be, you know, out of the limelight. So that's what I was doing. And then after a trip, I went to New Zealand, came back to Jamaica and the Lord said, OK, it's time to do the festival. And I'm like, I didn't even want to enter the festival. It's a JCDC, JCDC Gospel, Gospel Festival. Co- yes. And, and you won that year. And I won that year, and that changed. And that's a song. That's this song, yes. That, that one. Yes, yes, hold my hand today. Yes, yeah. and by then you had more songs oh, yes, written yes, and wanted to. Because I've been writing for years, and I was actually recording for years, even before the festival. Yes. So when I was sick in the hospital, the other song that I released, because there were rumors of my death everywhere, and as I laid there, the Lord said, okay, now is the time to release It's Not Over Now, which was written years ago. Yes. Hold My Hand was written years ago, y- years before the illness. Mm-hmm. So it's as though God was preparing me for what was about to happen. Isn't it a, a global hit song? So yes, it is, it is, it is. It has been... Mm, all over the world. It is consumed in song worldwide. Yes, it? yes, definitely. <sighs> Because it doesn't even feel like it's a Jamaican song. Not true. <laughs> that's a, and that's why I didn't want to use that song as my entry, because I'm like, God, what kind of, what kind of slow song this is? Yes. You know? But it has been a blessing to so many people, and I'm thankful. And your community? Wait, where yes. in Jamaica are I'm you from? from Newport, Manchester. South okay. Manchester. Yes, yes. And that's where you grew up to yes. what age? Yeah. Um, and after I went to Beth Arbor all age, and I went to Homewood Technical High School in Christiana. Mm-hmm. And after that, I started serving. I went to be trained as a missionary and was full, in full-time ministry. And, you know, I started traveling the world. 
All right, and mm -hmm. you're back. What happened since you came back home? How are people receiving you? Oh my you? God, it is so amazing. I'm just really humbled and blown away by, by the love, even from the secular um, industry. I, could, I shouldn't even say secular, but my brothers, other brothers and sisters who are not saying Jesus. It's been so wonderful. The other day I was at Tony Rebel's launch, the mm -hmm. media launch, and I was blown away by the wealth of love and all these people. Some of them, Winfred, honestly, may not even know that they know me. But then, I mean, a few days ago, we're, we're, we spent the day with Ken Booth and we were just, you know, he was just telling me how much all these people are just saying how much I mean to them and how much I've been a source of inspiration to them. And I'm like, really? Yes. So it's, 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 it's such a joy to be home and to hear it, you know. And you had an interview with Ian yes. Bowen yes. since your return. Yes. I, actually, I came two weeks, a few weeks ago to do the interview. But do you know what happened? That interview was ske initially scheduled to be recorded the day he passed. Yes. Initially. And there's something, and he, he, he called me and he said, you know, Glacia, I f feel an urgency. We need to move this interview up. Wow. And he said to me, are you able to come to Jamaica? Can you really do that? I said, yes. And my husband, I, you know, we were talking about it. And my husband said to me, you know what? You should go for a day and just come back. Go do the, the recording with him and come back. And I called him and I told him I'd do that. And he said, you would do that? I'm like, yes, this is a pivotal moment. And he kept saying to me, Jamaica needs this message. We need to get this done now. Wow. Wasn't it his last, isn't it his last interview? That, yes, I was his last, very last, very last interview. interview. Because we recorded on Friday and I got on the plane. I went back home and a few days afterwards, he was in the hospital. Oh my. So the timing. Wow. Timing. What a story. What a journey. What a journey. Yeah? So you are going to be performing. Yes. I'm for the first time on a Jamaican stage in 19 years. Yes. <laughs> yes. In your home. In my hometown parish. in Mandeville. Yes. yes. At the Manchester High School on the 26th of December. The show is called The Experience, the I Rise edition. Because okay. I want to empower the people. Do not give up. Hold on to God. A lot of people are giving up. So we, the first show is in Mandeville. The second one is at the Spanish Town Prison Oval on the 30th of December. And after that, you go back home? I'll you be here back? for a little while because I, I will be ministering at the Re Rebel Salute as well. Yes, we're looking forward to that. That will be special. Oh, yes. I, I'm so excited. I we remember seeing Lady Saw there last year as oh, a Christian. Oh, yes. She had made it mm -hmm. as, a, as a secular artist, oh. but she made it. As a Christian. In her first year as a Christian. That's amazing. That's and it was amazing. fantastic. She took that night, as far as I'm concerned, wow. she took that night. Wow, she's an Lady artist. Saw. That's great. So can you imagine what is going to happen mm -hmm. with you down there? Let me tell you. Tell us yes. about your family, your own family now. My family, that you, yes. you, that you, I know you're married. Mm -hmm. yes, kids. She got married. No kids yet. No kids yet? Yes, yes. And, okay, so it's just you and, and your husband at yes. the moment. And yes. your family back in and Manchester? Yes, there. some of my family, my uncles, my aunts, they're there. But my mom, she's in the States. My sister is in the States. And, you know, the family, my uncle is in Spalding's and stuff. Yeah, mommy. Oh, wow. And I'll be seeing all of them. It's, so, it's such a blessing. And guess what, Winfred? I'll be giving, I will be giving back to the Spalding's Hospital. From the proceeds from the ticket sales, we'll be giving back to the Spalding's Hospital, which is the first hospital I was admitted to at the beginning of those five and a half years of illness. So this trip is about saying thanks and giving back. Oh. Well, Manchester, you're lucky. Your daughter is alive and well, with a fantastic story, a great experience. I suspect that this show will be sold out, will be fully booked. I. I don't know that anyone watching us right now will stay home anywhere near there um, on, the, on the 26th. And when you hear her today, right here on stage, <laughs> if there were any doubts left, <laughs> that will be removed right away. Glacia, we're going to leave the stage for you to give us a couple of songs right now. Oh, it's my joy. It's too late. It's a 
what you say you've waited this long for change but all you fell down here is just pain time again you wonder will things ever change when will the answer question has become your song you've waited long enough when will this change be here? yet still you keep holding on tears forever flow on time again you wonder will the answer come but a change is coming a change is coming I will work and I will fight press with all my Whatever you're going through, don't give up. Change is coming, change is coming. Yeah. If you're still breathing, then God is not finished with you. Change, I come one day right now. We want it now. Yeah, yeah. We need it now, 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 no, no, no. We need a change. 
of hope inside and if tears are only raindrops the universe would be flooding now so Lord I call you today please don't pass me by steps all the way please hear my call for the kiss of life so it's all that I see please walk me through this it's all is all I see broken dreams with painful memories the quest for help abides with me still I know I know that you're near me but I just need your hand and mine so Lord I call you What a performance, what a story. Stay with us. When we come back, 
We pray with Dre Island. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. 2017 is going down as another year of great trial and tribulation for most Jamaicans. A year that saw too many lives lost to violent crime. That triggered untold pain and distress for families and again, as is the case in every such instance in our turbulent history, the music provides therapy for the people. We turn the trials in our tribulation. Not just with songs they already know, but also songs inspired by and recorded in the present state of the nation. Some cry, some smile. Inspirational tracks like these. Hey, young world. in September, we premiered the video for We Pray by Dre Island. That track is now one of the most played in the global reggae space. Here to perform an acoustic rendition of the song, the man himself, Dre Island. Dre, <laughs> bless it, sir. So good to have you. So first of all, before we let you perform the song for us, could you give us a quick summary of your, your career this year? What happened since that world premiere of the video? Well, I have to say it's blessings, you know? Mm -hmm. Like what we asked for in the song, you know, prayer has gone up, blessings forward, you know? Yes. And, and I know that the reason for that is, is because of the timing mm -hmm. and the cries that, 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 that humanity have, not only in Jamaica, but... The world is troubled, world. not Scrying. just Jamaica, the world Overall, and, it's and, trouble, and, right? and you know, violence is one, but you know, if you just look at even just natural disasters, mm -hmm. look at Mumbai the other day, Montego Bay. Yes. You know, and, and I know ones would, would see that happen and walk by and ignore, but we need to look at the times. It's very hard to get through to youths nowadays, you know, so I had to, 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 to look at life in a way. Where I had to just ask you for a song that mm -hmm. has nothing to do with me. Yes. That is bigger than even myself, this body, this flesh. You know? And you answered the prayers and gave me we pray. You know? And, and it's a joy for, for, for my brother Popcorn be on the track. And it's also a joy for him talking to on stage the other day when he was on the Jam Rock Cruise. Mm -hmm. When he said that with or without him, that song is, is what it is because. I, I admit that too. You know, that song is bigger than even me. It, it's from this body, you know, ones might look and say, what is he saying? But it's from this body, but it trust me, it's way bigger than Jerry Island. And it's already branded classic. Yes, sir. How do you yes. feel about that? People, this is a classic song. It's one, it's one of my favorites. In fact, maybe it's my favorite uh, inspirational song for 2017, personally. But my personal tastes don't mean much. It's just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but it's my, it's my favorite, Dre, and I couldn't resist the temptation to have you back to perform it for us um, live on our stage and to share it once again with our people at this time. It's, it's always a pleasure. It's always a joy. And, and for it to be in the classic, you know, it's a great feeling, you know. Likewise, I would love for the project Now I Rise to be in the classic, you know, because that, that, that is what the whole project speak of, a yeah. rise, you know, despite everything that is happening yes. around, you know, we have to find a way to get out. Mm -hmm. We can't always live within the depression and, and, and live under a system that keeps us down. And it's due, the project is due in the first quarter? 
Well, it's due in March. Yeah, in first March. Quarter. First quarter of next, next year, 2018. Well, sir, we're going to look forward to that. If this is anything to go by, well, it's already a winner. Yes, sir. And, for, and right now, we're going to leave the stage to you, Dre, to take, away, to take it away and just perform for us. Yep. Okay, sir? Yes. Much love. Respect. Yes, I say never forget to pray, no, no. By every day we'll chase the demons away. Cause who judge a blessing, no man curse. Who judge a blessing, no man curse. So give thanks and praise every day as you rise. I say, some cry, some smile. Some fight every day. We rise to the top, cause we know what it takes. Through it all, we survive, yet still hold the faith. Unchangeable, Lord, unchangeable. I say, no matter how you see the dollar stock up, I still not change me, I go stay rough. In a diggy and your half buckle up your lace, be smart, don't be a cuff, no, no. Life it's a journey, it's a long race. Mama says, son, be wise, don't bring disgrace. So take up your broom, start sweep the place. Cause all these ways they got to get erased. Straight love to me, people that me embrace. Truth are the truth and that can't erase So hell to all of those who are hate Just send me if we finish this race So we ain't giving up now We put up a fight We got to be ready Cause time's getting tricky Just say don't you worry Oh no I say we got to be ready, cause time's getting dreaded. So oh, we pray, we pray, mm -hmm. we pray. If popcorn was here, he would have say, blessings up the flow and the prayer gone up. Yes, not an evil can harm us. Them think we done when we just a warm up. Jamaica, nothing a minus. I me I tell you this. Tell the youth, hold on and tell mama be strong. Oh yeah. Have faith in Jack, we no know about man. No day. Yes, long time them are try bring we down. And I just know, from we very young. Yes, them chat we every day with them funny tongue. Hey, them I watch you on the telly now. So I say, ain't giving up now. We put up a fight here. I got to be ready. Yeah, oh yeah. Just say, don't you worry. I'll be in a hurry, Lord. We got to be ready. Cause time's getting tricky. So, oh. Whoa, 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 yeah. We pray. So we ain't giving up, no. We'll put up a fight, yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Just said, don't you worry, oh, no. I'll be the heart. Say, we got to be ready. Cause time's getting dreaded, so whoa. For a better Jamaica, I say, Mama Africa, yeah, we pray. Someone you love Yeah, you cry, yeah, you cry, yeah, you cry Cause it hurts so much Yeah, we fight cause we know that it ain't no giving up, no 
Yeah, we rise to the top Cause we know what it takes So we ain't giving up, no We'll put up a fight today Got to be ready I say we ain't giving up, no. We put up a fight, we got to be ready. Cause time's getting treated. Just said, don't you worry. I'll be in a hurry, Lord. Got to be ready. Cause time's getting dreaded. She just needs some time to be free. She says she just needs some love and harmony. Don't need no one to separate her from this time. Don't need no one but you and I. So she say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. J. Island, yeah, 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 you go yeah, yeah, so many stories still nobody knows, she only show courage, never let her smile go, yeah, she need that heart and day to let her mind glow, yeah, she just need that comfort, a little bit of happiness for sure. But through the pain and strain of nine to five, she just wanna let go that load. Oh, when you need someone to relax your mind, baby, let me take control. Hey, yeah, she just wanna chill by the riverside. Oh, watch the beach stars rise. She wanna be by my side for the rest of her life. Though she proclaims she need love, just nobody knows. She got that vibes, heights of fame, but just nobody knows. She don't want to be like them girls on your TV screen, or that picture in your magazine. She don't need us, no trouble, no fear. She just want to be free. Oh, yeah, 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 she don't need us, no trouble, no fear. Yeah, she just wanna be free. Oh, yeah. Don't you take her for granny, cause she will walk right through that door. Yeah. No, she's no line on all them women you have been with before. Yeah, my sunshine through the rainy days. Your eyes like a diamond, keep me staring at me. Spirit is the fuel, keep my fire on blaze. She don't need to say, no, she proclaim. She need love, just nobody knows. She got that vibes, heights of flame, but just nobody knows. Yeah, she don't want to be like them girls on your TV screen or a picture in your magazine. No, she don't need us, no trouble, no, 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 no. She just want to be free. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 But she don't need us, no trouble, no, 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 no. She just wanna be free, though she proclaimed she need love, just nobody knows. She got that vibe, heights of flame, just nobody knows. But she don't wanna be like them girls on the TV screen or picture in your magazine. No, she don't need us, no trouble, no, baby. Hey, she just wanna be free, oh yeah. 
She don't wanna be like them girls on your TV screen, picture in a magazine. She don't need no smoke. Okay, well, keep your chairs going for Dre, for Dre Island, making an indelible mark, Dre, yes, on sir. this time Thanks. with your music. Thank you so much for coming and sharing with us, sir. It's a pleasure. Yeah, yes, and, and we're definitely looking forward to the project in the first quarter. What's the name of the project? Now I Rise. Now I Rise. Yes. We're looking forward to that. And I'm sure all our fans here, all our members of the audience, and our fans all around the world are looking forward to. Yes, sir. Definitely. Much respect, sir. Give thanks. Much, much yes, respect. Sir. So good I to have you. give thanks to the lovely musicians. All right, and thank you, too. Okay, so that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more right here on our stage. Happy holidays, everyone. Any of you, only you. Lady, I say, all I want you to do is just look in the mirror and know that somebody loves you. All I want you to do is just dream in the night, in the morning I'ma make it come through. All I want you to know is that we're gonna make love till the sun comes smiling at you. All I need you to know right now, you're the best nobody else compares. Cause who's gonna love me like you do? And who's gonna treat me the way you do? Yeah, who's gonna make me feel the way you make me feel? Nobody but you, nobody but you, nobody but you. Now, girl. You've got the whole place talking about your body, baby.